Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. So you've built a brand new gaming PC and even installed Windows, but what do you do next? Today I'm gonna show you how to install all of the necessary drivers before you start playing on your PC. So let's go down the checklist here. The first thing that you want to check on your new PC is the activation settings. This will show your copy of Windows and whether it's activated or not. Most of the time when you've built the PC, it will not be activated. So to get the full Windows experience, you're definitely gonna wanna get a Windows key and activate Windows by clicking change and adding the key here. Now there's a few different places you can get Windows keys. GVG Mall being one of the most popular for Windows keys. This is not sponsored, but we usually like to show off this option for first time PC builders and people just new to building PCs. After you've activated Windows, we're going to go to Device Manager. Once you've pulled up Device Manager, you're going to check all of the devices that are not being recognized. It might be a little bit different for you, but for the most part, in other devices, you'll probably see a whole list. Now you do not want this. You want this to be completely clear and to look basically like this. You do not want any issues in Device Manager. So to fix this, we are going to go to System information and figure out what your motherboard is this is the b660m pro rs so we're going to take that information and type it into search here so then you're going to click on that first link and it's going to take you to their website here so i see this is my motherboard i'm looking at it just to verify this is the correct one i'm going to scroll down go down to support download and now this is a whole list of the motherboard drivers that you could potentially download. You do not need to download all of these to get rid of all of these in Device Manager. I'm gonna show you some of the main ones that usually do just what we need. So this first one, look for something called I and F driver. It's usually gonna be at the top here. I'm gonna do the global install. I'm going to click on show and folder. I have it right here, double click, double click, until you see something called setup chipset. This is the one we want to click on and run. This will download chipset, which most of the time actually gets rid of all the issues just on this one alone. Downloading chipset worked for me. It got rid of all of the unrecognized devices in device manager. Now, if this didn't get rid of all of them for you, here's a couple other ones to look out for and install. Now, some motherboards have a different list of drivers, but most of the time, everybody has the same ones. With AMD supported motherboards, there's a couple different options, but for the most part, these drivers are all gonna be kind of the same. So the next one, if you have Intel, is the Intel Management Engine driver. Sometimes they'll show up as just ME. You wanna install this one. The LAN driver, if you have a certain NVMe or maybe a higher end build. The Intel Rapid Storage Technology driver. There's also one called Serial IO. And if you're not sure, and if you just have a few pesky unrecognized drivers that just won't go away even if you download all of these, you might be on the wrong motherboard website. So just double check the serial number and make sure you're going to the right website and the right version so you're downloading the right drivers. All right, next up, we're gonna need to download the GPU drivers. Whether you have an AMD card or a NVIDIA card, this process will be basically the same, but just going to two different websites here. So I know I have the GTX 1650, so I'm gonna be going to the NVIDIA drivers. And then going to their website here, they have this nice drop down option where I'm going to go to product series and then go down to 16 series. That will bring up the product list right down below. And I'm gonna go down to the 1650 and then I have Windows 11 and then I will click search. This brings up the driver I'm going to need. I'm gonna click download. This will take me to the download page where I'm gonna click it again and it will download into the folder. Once you have downloaded the installer, you're going to run this and run it all the way through. It takes a few minutes, but once it is done, you should have an application show up if you've downloaded the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And if you downloaded the AMD Adrenaline, you'll usually see running in the background the new icon, but it will not have an actual shortcut. Another way to check if your graphics drivers are installed is go to Task Manager, and we're going to go to Performance, and you should see your GPU pop up here 
in Task Manager. If you do not see it, your graphics drivers are not installed and that will affect the games when you play them. So we have Windows activated and installed. We have all of the device manager clear and ready to go. And we have the GPU drivers installed. That means we are ready to game. Hopefully you all found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if there are some issues that you were having that just didn't get addressed in the video. I'll try my best to answer those in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe so PC Bros can continue to bring some good PC how-to videos.